الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا ادخلوا في السلم كافة ولا تتبعوا خطوات الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين صدق الله مولانا العظيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحابه وبارك وسلم یہ شہادت گہ الفت نے قدم رکھنا ہے لوگ آسان سمجھتے ہیں مسلمان ہونا ان دا بلیسٹ منتھ آف رمضان المبارک ایوری مسلم ینگ اینڈ اولڈ مین اینڈ وومن رچ اینڈ پور بلیک اینڈ وائٹ increases their relationship with their deen their connection with Allah their obedience of the creator their recitation of the Quran Majid their offering of Salah their donating in the form of zakat and sadaqat Quran Majid no doubt is the most widely recited book on the face of the earth no other book comes anywhere near it not even a tenth of any other book is recited as much as the Quran is recited not even a hundredth and I say this with firm conviction it just comes to mind how much of the Quran is recited by the pious by the Salihin by the Imams of the Sunni world it is mentioned in many books including Bahari Shari'at that Imam A'azam Abu Hanifa رضي الله تعالى عنه would recite 61 complete Qur'ans only in the month of Ramadan even today I know many Muslims would be reciting maybe 5 times, 6 times, maybe 10 times some maybe twice and every Muslim tries to aim for at least one completion so it is from this book the Quran that I have just recited a very famous ayat from Surah Al-Baqarah ayat number 208 Allah Ta'ala states Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu dhkhulu fi silmi kaffah wa la tattabi'u khutuwat al-shaytan innahu lakum adubun mubin with the help of my imam imam ahl sunnah Ahla Hazrat Fazil Barevi Rahmatullah Ali and translate from Kanzuri Iman Sharif A Iman walo Islam me pure dakhil ho aur shaitan ke kadmo par na chalo be shak wo tumhara khula dushman hai I felt the need of tafkir of a reminder for all of us from the Quran of this ayat because now we are in the last couple of days of Ramadan al-Mubarak and we have all worked hard alhamdulillah fasted for what some 18 to 20 hours we have all offered our salat mashallah We have all busied ourselves in Tarawi, in reading the Quran, in other amal saliha in making up for the missed prayers in the form of qada, the 
tasbihat, durood sharif, salat and salam on the dust of creation, sallallahu sallam. But let us not make this good practice for the last four weeks or so come to a sudden end. Ramadan will end, yes. But the actual philosophy behind these 30 days or so was to train us. To make us of those people for whom it begins to be easy to do good. Goodness becomes their nature. What we call Adate Saniya. And this is what Allah is telling us in the Quran. O oh, you who believe, enter into Islam completely, wholly, fully. And do not follow in the footsteps of Satan. Why? Indeed, he is your manifest enemy. If I remember correctly, this is one of the 89 places in the Quran where Allah addresses us, the believers, with the beautiful khitab of Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu ay iman walu ay iman walu ay iman walu You know, even when Allah speaks about the obligation of fasting, same surah, Al-Baqarah, He said, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu kutiba alaykum as-suyam Same words. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu When Allah tells us to do salat and salam, He says, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa maulana muhammadin wa alihi wa ashabihi wa barik wa sallim 89 ayat And this is one of the 89 places What is Allah telling you to do? Udkhulu fissilmi kafatan Islam me pure pure dakhil ho jau Apply and follow Islam in its totality. Don't pick and choose. Don't be elective and selective. Don't be a part-time Muslim 24-7. Because Islam wasn't only about Ramadan. Allah did not say anyway that I want you to be good Muslims only in Ramadan and the other 11 months you are free. So it's all about continuing to follow seriously, sincerely, wholeheartedly your beautiful deen. You can never go wrong, inshallah, with Islam. Today we have millions of Muslims, poor and destitute and needy, depending on others, looking for financial help in the form of zakat and sadaqat. Others who are sahib nisab Allah forbid, cheat and do not pay their full due of zakat. This is the 21st century. This is the 15th Islamic century. But if you go back in history, subhanallah, I was teaching my son and daughter this morning in the time of Khulafai Rashidun when Abu Bakr and Omar and Usman and Ali and Hassan and Mujtaba even during the caliphate of Hazrat Umar bin Abdul Aziz radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in it was difficult to find people who were eligible for zakat Even if today we Muslims followed deen in its totality, wallah, at least in the Muslim world, we can wipe out poverty. There will be no ghurbat and no nadari and no destitution, no iflas, no faqiri, at least in the Islamic world. As a student of deen, I believe if all Muslims paid their full zakat due, 
only 2.5%. So this is what Allah is telling you here. Ya ayyuhalladheena manud khulu fi silme kaafa. You'll find in the Muslim world many brothers and sisters, mashallah, when it comes to salat, you can't, you can't beat them. Apart from the five daily prayers, busy in nawafil, busy in awabin, busy in chasht, busy in other nawafil. But then sometimes you will see the same brothers and sisters when it comes to zakat, they're careless. They don't give it that importance. Even though the Prophet has said, Jis pe zakat farz ho aur wo kama haq ho ada na kare, Allah us ki namazon ko bhi qubul nahi karta. This is a mafhoom of a hadith. Because Islam is all about the collective teachings. You will only see the fruits of your deen, the good results of practicing your deen when it's done fully. When you are doing your salat and your zakat and your hajj and your sawm and other rulings of Islam, then you see the blessings, subhanallah. How Allah showers His mercy upon you 24-7. So, pure pure dakhil hona hai. Ye nahi ke jaysay Ramadan khatm ho, to aam saalon ki tarah humari zindagi ka jo alam ho, wahi ho, jaysa ke maazi mein dekhne mein aata raha hai. آج ہی دعا کریں اپنے رب سے کہ اللہ ہمیں توفیق دے اللہ مجھے بھی دے اللہ آپ کو بھی دے اللہ سب مسلمانوں کو توفیق دے کہ ہم صحیح معنوں میں مسلمان بن جائیں اسلام is not a, uh, just a deen to be practiced in Ramadan اقبال very beautifully said یہ شہادت گہ الفت میں قدم رکھنا ہے لوگ آسان سمجھتے ہیں Musalman hona. You have to pay a price for your deen. We've had it very cheap on the plate. Mother and father and forefathers, Muslims. So we don't value Islam as we should be valuing it. We don't love it as we should love it. We don't follow as we should be following it. Islam is a system of living. What we call Nizam Zindagi, Zabta Hayat. And for me, it stands for I S L A M. They stand for Ideal System of Living for All Muslims. Are you following that system of living? System of living means is to do with your business, is to do with your family life, is to do with your political life, is to do with your social life, is to do with your Neighbors is to do with your uh, every aspect of your life. Because a system of living. From the second you come into this dunya to the minute you leave the dunya, Islam applies. Islam rules. Islam governs. If you are a true Muslim. Hame sahi maano me deen ke saath وہ رابطہ استوار کرنا چاہیے جو ہمارے دین کا تقاضہ ہے یہ نہ ہو کہ ہم صرف رمضان میں تو بہت اللہ اللہ کرنے لگے اور اس کے بعد بالکل چھٹی کر لیں ہمارے دین کی تعلیم یہ ہے کہ اگر آپ خود اندازہ کرنا چاہتے ہیں کہ رمضان کی آپ کی محنتیں کام آئیں قبول ہوئیں ان کا فائدہ ہوا تو یہ دیکھیں کہ رمضان کے بعد آپ کی زندگی کا کیا عالم ہے کیا آپ رمضان کے بعد بھی اسی طرح کم و بیش الحمدللہ دیندار باقی رہتے ہیں یا نہیں اور اگر نہیں تو اللہ ہمیں محفوظ رکھے ایسا نہ ہو کہ عید نائٹ کی ہی ساعات میں ہم پھر جائیں اور یہ سمجھے کہ اب ہم اس جیل سے آزاد ہو گئے ہیں پابندی سے چھٹکارہ مل گیا ہے اب ٹھیک ہے گیارہ مہینے جو ہے عیاشیاں کریں گے خود غرض بن جائیں گے نفس کو خوش کریں گے شیطان کو راضی کریں گے دیکھیں اللہ کہتا ہے خود خلوف سلم کا 
ولا تتبعوا خطوات الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين Don't follow in the footsteps of Satan meaning don't obey him don't please him He's your manifest enemy he's vowed in the court of Allah he's swore in the court of Allah to destroy you to ruin you to mislead you that's his ultimate objective that's his desire that all children of Adam alayhi salam become disobedient do not believe mushriks kafirs and if they are muslims do not follow so who do you want to please pick and choose allah or shaitan you have a choice nobody compels you you pick and choose that's why quran says fahadaynahun najdain we have shown man both the paths the path of rahman and the path of shaitan aisa na ho ke ramzan mein to hum rahman wale ban jaye aur baqiya 11 mahine shaitan wale ban jaye nahi hamesha apni aakhirat ko peesh nazar rakhe आज हम हैं कल ना होंगे इस्लाम पर अमल करने में हमारा ही फायदा है हमारी ही बेहतरी है हमारी ही कामयाबी है सुकून इतमान राहत चैन पीस ट्रैंक्विलिटी कैसे मिलती है किसी शायर ने बहुत खूब कहा न दुनिया से न दौलत से न घर आबाद करने से तसली दिल को मिलती है खुदा को याद करने से यू वॉन्ट दैट पीस ऑफ माइंड दैट सेटिस्फैक्शन ऑफ द हार्ट वेर यू फाइंड इट इन वेल्थ इन प्रॉपर्टी इन बैंक बैलेंस इन बिजनेस नो अल बेजिक्लूब अल्लाह मेक्स इट वेरी क्लियर ओनली in the remembrance of allah do hearts find satisfaction it may not a qalb sirf aur sirf allah ki yaad mein rakha hai kyunki tumhari ruh ka taluq aalam e bala se hai na ruh ki ghaza allah ki yaad the food for our souls is the wik remembrance obedience of allah so this was a reminder first and foremost for myself and then for all of us take islam seriously live islam show your islam be proud of your islam wear your islam it's a system of living it's a way of life isne hamari zindagi ke har goshe ke liye hame rehnumai ata farmayi khana kya hai peena ka pehna kya hai odna kya hai every single thing you will do as a human being you will find allah guides you allah teaches you that this is what i want and this is what i don't want what he called awamir and nawahi what he commands us to do what he forbids us to do so final reminder inshallah once again ya ayyuhalladhina amanu dkhulu fi silmi kaffa o you who believe enter into islam completely learn your deen connect to the pious be in the company of the learned practicing ulama connect to your local sunni masjid in this case north manchester jamia masjid a 
بچوں کے ساتھ صحبت اختیار کرو وہ تمہاری پہچان بن جاتے ہیں بچوں کے ساتھ اٹھو گے بیٹھو گے ان خود اچھے بن جاؤ گے صحبت صالح تو را صالح کنت صحبت طالح تو را طالح کنت سو لیٹ ایس اول میک سنسیئر انٹینشن ان شاء اللہ دیٹ ایون آفٹر راما بان وی ول کنٹینیو ٹو پریکٹس آور دین ٹو دا بیسٹ آف آور ابلیٹی آئی ایم ناٹ سینگ وی وانٹ میک مسٹیکس وی وانٹ گو رانگ وی وانٹ سین بیکاز وی آر ہیومن بینگس وی ہیو شارٹ کمنگس وی ہیو امپرفیکشنس بٹ ایٹ لیسٹ وی کین میک سنسیئر انٹینشن ٹو اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ تھرو دا وسیلہ آف ہز حبیب ہو از سید العاب دین صلی اللہ وسلم بکاز داس وائی اللہ کریٹیڈ اس فار عبادت اینڈ عبادت از ناٹ اونلی نماز روزہ حج زکوٰۃ عبادت از آلسو واٹ یو ارن عبادت از آلسو واٹ یو لک ایٹ عبادت از آلسو واٹ یو ایٹ عبادت از آلسو وے یو اسپینڈ یور ویلتھ عبادت از آلسو ہاؤ یو آر ایٹ ہوم ود یور فیملی ود یور ایلڈرس ود یور ینگسٹرس ود یور نیبرس ایون ود یور اینمیز واٹ حقوق ڈو یو گیو ٹو دی کریشن آف اللہ آل دس فارم ان دی بیوٹیفل ٹرمینالوجی آف عبادہ اللہ ہم سب پہ کرم فرمائے و آخر دعوانا ان الحمد للہ رب العالمین